and welcome to the English service at New Life Fellowship Facebook. I hope you're enjoying the presence of God to the worshiping together with our worship team. This week, I want to continue to talk from the book of Acts, Acts chapter 3. We're talking about the work of God. Have asked, God have asked the disciples and apostles to wait in Jerusalem. And after waiting, he pours his spirit on the sons and the daughters of the Most High God and prepare these apostles to do the work to bring the blessing of heaven to this earth. I want to continue to talk from the book of Acts, Acts chapter 3. The title of my sermon today is the Apostles Performs Miracles in the Name of Jesus. Apostle performs miracles. Miracles happen through the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let, 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 let's take a look at the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 1 to 10. One day, Peter and John were going up to the temple at the time of prayer at three in the afternoon. They go to prayer in the afternoon. Afternoon seems a little hot. We all meet at three o'clock in the afternoon as well, right? Yeah, in the afternoon, these guys go to the temple to pray. Now a man who was lame from birth was being carried to the temple's gate called Beautiful. Now another person who lame, who's lame from birth, was carried and put there as well. Where he was put every day to beg from those going into the temple's court. This guy was put there not to pray, not to have relationship with the others and stuff. But this guy put there to beg from the people that go into the temple. When he saw Peter, when this lame man saw Peter and John about to um, enter, he asked them for money. This guy is the head of the the, the, the temple, he must, he must be generous, he must have a lot of money, so ask for money. Verse 4, Peter looks straight at him. As did John, John did the same thing, as did John. Then Peter said, look at us. Peter said to the lame, lame man, look at us. So the man gave them his attention, expecting to get something from them. Then Peter said, this is a cool word. Then Peter said, silver or gold, I don't have. Money, I don't have. I do not have. But what I have, he said to the layman, but what I have, I give you what Peter and John had given to the layman. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk, taking him by the right hand. He helped him up and instantly, I like this scripture, this word, instantly the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped, the lame man jump, jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God and recognized him as the one 
who sat at the beautiful gate of the temple asking for the of asking for alms and they were filled with wonders and amazement at what had happened to him amazement at what happened to the lame man can you imagine this lame man was carried and put there just to beg just to beg for the blessing so his life living on someone generosity so it's difficult for him and they were everywhere he wants to go he needs somebody to walk him through. i mean uh take him to carry him to he want to go to the temple courts somebody need to take him there it's so difficult but somebody that was anointed by god that carry the spirit of the lord god and juicing the authority and the power that was given by God. He speak to this person's life. Point number one for me, the power of speaking blessing to someone or to your own life. Speak blessing to someone or speak blessing to your own life. It's really powerful. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 18 but 20 to 21 from the fruit of a man's mouth his stomach is satisfied from the fruit that he put in his mouth and later on the stomach is satisfied oh it's delicious now I am full he is satisfied by the yield of his lips he's satisfied Oh, that one tastes nice. That one tastes sweet. Oh, that one tastes really good. Verse 21. Life, death and life are in the power of the tongues. And those who love it will eat its fruits. Those who love to talk will benefit from that fruit. What do you think? you want to benefit the good thing out of that talking or bad thing? I believe that you want to benefit a good thing out of that talk as well. In the book of Mark, chapter 11, verse 23, Jesus says, Truly, I tell you, if a man say to this mountain, Go and throw yourself into the sea. Tell this mountain, to go and throw yourself into the sea and it does not doubt it does not in their hearts but believes that what they what they say it will happen and it will be done for them speak it out with faith is really important live to speak blessing Speak blessing by faith. It's important for every one of us. Speak by faith. Speak to someone by faith. Talk to someone by faith. Believing that this word that leaves your mouth will bring blessing to someone. Word. My brothers and sisters, is powerful. It's so powerful. It's important to be, be careful with the word. The word that's speaking out, that mixed with faith in Jesus' name is much more powerful as well. He said, look, I don't have the money. Peter said, I don't have the money. I don't have the, the silver. I don't have the gold. But what I have what I have, what does he have? He has the names above all names. The names of Jesus. So what I have in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, walk. He speak to the mountain of this lame man to walk 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You can do that as well. My brothers and sisters, speak by faith. Use your word to benefit the kingdom of our God. Let's take a minute and think, do we need adjustments in our words or not? Are we doing okay or not? Are we normally speak faith or speak fear? Are we normally speak life or we speak death? Are we normally speak blessing or speak curse? Are we normally speak great destiny? Are we we not? Are we have no hope at all? My brothers and sisters, our words is so important. The apostle got anointed by God and anointing this anointing from God can be used for many things but this time at this particular situation he see this man this lame man was stuck there was no hope at all you can give the money as much as you want to this man but things in his life will not change he's stuck He's going to use a lot of money on many things that not necessarily. But this man speak faith, speak blessing over the lame man. The situation of that lame man was changed at that time. Point number two in my lesson today. God uses apostles to be the helping hand. Use the apostle to be the helping hand. You and I live to help the hurt. There are so many people hurt. They live a hurtful life. They stuck. Some of them stuck there for many, many, many years. I don't know how many years that this man was stuck lame was from birth can you imagine from birth it must have been many many years it must have been difficult for him it must have been difficult for his family it must have been difficult for his friends and relatives it's difficult to bring blessing God use somebody else In verse 2, a lame man was carried to the temple's gates daily. The people around him, all they do is just, all they, they do, all they know, is just to carry the person, just to carry the lame man, the lame man, and put him at the beautiful gate daily. Hopefully to receive the blessing. Hopefully to receive the money that was given to him because people have pity on him. At this carry, you know, carry to the temple. I do the research, meaning, meaning that, meaning that walking, taking somebody by the hand, taking somebody by. Speak to this person and take that person by the hand. Verse 7, Peter and John take him by the right hand. He help him up. Speak to the situation and take that guy up. Bring him up. Sometimes, my brothers and sisters, and sisters when you speak to the situation, the situation is still there. It's take the faith for you and I to grab the persons up. Let's walk. Let's walk. This is the meaning of that carry to the temple, taking them by the hand. Of course, this guy, this apostle, taking them by the hand. 
taking people by the hand and walk with them to the finish line. You and I, helping the people, take people that were stuck in that one place, take them by the hand and walk them toward the finish line. Teachers, you can walk your student until they graduated. You could do it. Take them by the hand. Sit down with them and talk to them. Share your knowledge with them. Parents, you can walk your children to the knowledge of Christ. Walk your children by the hand. Every day, you talk to them. You love on them. You care for them. Don't expect them to grow by themselves. They will learn when they are become older, of course. But you take them by the hand from the young age. Grandparents, I know that some grandparents like to spoil your grandkids. Yes, it's fun. But you also, you can walk them by the hand. You have a lot of experiences in your life. You can walk them by the hand. Show them the way of life. The good example. Show them the way of the Lord. Spouses, you walk each other by the hand as well. You don't expect them to do great things. You yourself walking each other by the hand. I believe you can do it. Don't blame each other. Don't expect each other to grow by themselves. You walk each other. Take them up and walk by the hand. And also, along the line of walking by the hand, you speak blessing. You speak faith over your spouses as well. Disciple makers, you walk your disciples to have relationship with God by the hands as well. Sit down with them, pray for them, and all that. My brothers and sisters, what is your life situation looking like right now? What is it looking like? Are you hurting? Are you sick? Does your relationship need help or not? Are you worried? Do you need God invention to come in to your life and helping you? My brothers and sisters, God still help His people. God can help you and I. In fact, God is a God that heal people. He can heal you now. If you want healing, He can heal you now. God can assist you. Assist you in whatever area in your life that you need His help. You know, you look at the lame man. He was stuck there for many, many years. But that day, it's a miracle day for the lame man. He can walk again. It's a new day. It's a new day for him. It's a new experience for him. His limitation of being stuck in one place. Now I've got breaking off. He start to have freedom. And freedom in his life. God can help you. God can also use me and you to help others as well. My brothers and sisters, gold and silver, we may not have it, but in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the name of the God that death can keep him in a tomb that God had power he rose again from the dead he can do all things 
And he tells us, you can ask me anything in my name. I can do it. My brothers and sisters, now, with this COVID-19 thing, have stirred up the fear in the world. Have stirred up the fears in our countries badly. Even people are dying from it. And even stir up the fear in you. But let me tell you, you have Jesus within you. Jesus have anointed you to perform signs and wonders as well. You can do this. You can survive. You can live, my brothers and sisters. You can do it. I believe it. Just keep believing in God. Just speaking to your situation. Tell that mountain to go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Speak blessing. Even though you see the dark time. Even though, even though if you are to have COVID, you speak faith to that situation. Say, COVID, you have no right in my body. COVID, you need to go. You speak life over your life. You speak life over your friends and family's life. You speak blessing over them. I believe that this word will carry the power of God and will transform those people's life. We'll help them. We'll heal them. We'll fix their issues as well. If you have any sickness, whatever situation that you are stuck in, let me pray for you. I believe that this prayer is not from me. It's from the Lord God. Pray by faith to command whatever mountains in your life need to go away. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's join with me. The Heavenly Father, Lord God. Lord God, thank you for such a time that we're living in. Lord God, we're still breathing. We're still alive. Lord God, in this midst of darkness, Lord God, the devil, Satan, stir up fear in the world. Even stir up fear within us as well, Lord God. Lord God, because of your word say, ask anything in my name and I will do it. Lord God, my brothers and sisters and I, we speak to the situation, the fear of COVID-19. COVID-19, you need to go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are dead in Jesus' mighty name. Fear go, sickness go, hopelessness go in Jesus' mighty name. Lord God, release hope healing, restoration over my brothers and sisters. Restore the hope in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. God bless you. My brothers and sisters, I would like to share with you that this is the last Sunday for us to have this English service. So, um, we put this English service to uh, be suspended. So, ne from next week on, we will not have the English service anymore. And we will let you know, you know, for more information for the future relating to this English service. So God bless you. You take care of yourself and take care of your family. Bye-bye.